Oh yeah, can't fit in the circle, y'all old squares My jello is all red, she told me to listen, I'm all his Yo, hello, it's Revy here, and in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make the trippy multi camera effect you guys saw in the beginning. And uh, before we start, I just wanted to say happy new year. For me, it's still uh, July 2023. If you guys want to support me, I have a website, feel free to check that out. I have some editing packs there that, that could improve your editing. Let's get uh, right into this tutorial here. So we're going to be starting off by importing our footage we want to use for this uh, effect here. And I'm using this clip here of Lucky uh, and this music video Bird Gang. And uh, yeah, so you're going to start off by rot brushing out uh, your person. And if you don't know how to rot brush, I made a tutorial on it, which will be linked in the description so you guys can go watch that. Now it should look something like this. This might not be the best rot brushing here, but it's good enough to showcase the effect I want to create here. So you can start off by duplicating this by pressing Ctrl D, and you can go down to the bottom one and delete the rot brush effect. You're going to duplicate the background layer again. So you can actually rename it to DG for background and, and the roto brush layer to roto. You're going to duplicate the background layer, control D on that one. And you're going to press S and scale it down to 45%. And then I want to place it somewhere in the background down here in the corner just to your liking something like that looks good and after that you're going to be adding a effect to this uh, background layer and we're going to be adding a flicker to this so sapphire flicker and here we're just going to be using the default settings here and then we're going to duplicate the original background layer again so Control d and here we're going to pre-compose this and you can name it vhs and you can name it bg vhs you're going to open it up and here we're going to start off by opening up the composition composition settings and open up presets choose your vhs preset and if you don't have this preset here you guys can copy the settings here uh, if you guys want to uh, use the same and then you press ok and here we're just going to adjust some transform settings here so i'm going to set this scale here to 42 and that should be good and then here you're going to be adding jitter frames and set the edit frame length to 18 and that should be good and then we're going to be adding our vhs preset and if you don't have this preset here, you can almost see all the settings here. But uh, if you want to see all the settings, I will be linking the VHS tutorial down in the description. So you guys can watch that if you don't already have this. So you add this preset two times and then go back to your main composition. And here we have our little background VHS here. And I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger and set it to 175%. And then I'm going to be setting this one up in our left corner, just like that. And then something like that looks very clean. So this is how it looks now for the moment with the cameras we added in. Looks very cool in my opinion. It's a very unique look. And yeah, we're going to spice it up a little bit more by duplicating our rotor brush layer four times. So one, two, three, four. And you're going to set the original all the way at the top and then we're going to be delaying the other rotor brush layer so you're going to go two frames forward one two set this one like that and then two more frames forward one two set this one like here do this to all of the rotor brush layers so now it looks something like this here it's very trippy and to make this fade this these rotor brush layers here we're going to set the first rotor brush layer here to 80 percent opacity the next one to 60%, fourth one to 40%, and the last one here is going to be 20. So the original one 100%, and from then on, the opacity goes down 20% per clip. So now it looks something like this here, it looks a little bit cleaner. And now the last thing I want to do is just to add a little color effect here. So I'm going to press Ctrl Alt Y, drag this one under the original rotor brush layer. And here we're going to be adding Colorama. Open up input phase, set the phase shift here to 120, and then add a deep glow, set the radius to 2000, unmolt, and then change the blending mode here to HUE. So it makes something like this here. 
So this is how it looks now in the ending and if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please like and subscribe and if you guys have any new ideas on tutorials I can make please comment that down below and don't forget to check out my website, check out my socials, join my discord server and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.